Regularly scheduled programming will not be seen at this time so that we may bring you an ABC after school special. Today's after school special deals with the subject of sexual assault. Due to the sensitive nature of this topic, parents are encouraged to watch and discuss with their children. You're so good at this. It's you. What you do to me. Did you find her or did she find you? They always find me. What's the new girl like? Use your imagination. Get your dick with her! Get your dick with her! Date rape, next. You don't do to people what he did to me. How was that? Nice. Just nice? Okay, very nice. Get ready for terrific. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, you're so good at this. It's you. What you do to me. <laughs> you don't believe me? No. Well, I'm profoundly offended. You'll survive. I like you. I like you a lot. I like you, too. What? I've heard people talking. About what? About you and other girls. About you and Mare. I told you, it's over. Mare and I are history. Tonight's about the future. <laughs> Sam. Can we just talk? Every time I want to get close to you, start talking about something. I'm interested in things. I want to know what interests you. Watch. Gary! Samantha! What's up? <laughs> Perfect time, Jay. she find you? They always find me. So, uh, how long has, uh, this been going on? Oh, about two weeks. Oh, that was pretty quick. You've been here, what, three months? Two and a half. You, uh, know about Mayor? Yeah, I know about Mayor. Thank you. 
This place is pretty scary. It's okay. We've got police protection. Paper's late. Who cares? Oh, Mr. Bizfane will care. Gary. Mayor, I tried calling you all weekend. I'm sorry about Saturday night. You know my dad. We on for tonight? What time? I'll call you. Okay. Mayor, come on. We gotta go when you be late. And thanks for the flowers. Sure. Flowers? Guilt. Come on, lover boy. Hi, Gary. Hi. Are you pitching Saturday? Only if you're there, Catherine. So Shakespeare begins Romeo and Juliet. How the play ends, you'll find out by Thursday when I want it read. <laughs> Prologue, enter the chorus. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. Don't 
you have biology. I want you, Donna. You're so cheap. She obviously wants something. I was looking for Sam. She wasn't in class. She didn't show up for work yesterday, either. Sunday, the busiest day. And I had to cover for her. Hey, scholars! <laughs> you made it back. <laughs> yeah, 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 I made it back. Now, how about you? Uh, did you make it on Saturday? <laughs> Listen, I uh, saw a great pair of loafers downtown. Exactly like the one that I lost recently. If you got some cash, uh, maybe we can check it out, huh? Yeah, maybe we can. <laughs> What's all that about? Never mind. Hi, Mayor. Hi, Mayor. I can. Hi, Amanda. my kind of woman. Oh. You're running out of room, Monique. Never, never, never. Peter, Peter, Peter. How much would you pay to spend the night with this? I wouldn't. Even if you did, you probably wouldn't know what to do with it. I think I could manage. They're all the same with the lights off. The ones you get, you've got to keep the lights off. I keep the lights on. I just don't look. Hey, man. Hey, you better check the expiration date on this. I don't think they worked with it after 10 years. <laughs> Oh, Gab. What's the new girl like? Use your imagination. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Gab, Gab, Gab. What do you think of this? I've seen better. That's your problem, Farrell. All you do is look. And every time you look, we have to listen. This one moan and that one moan. <laughs> They're always moaning. Sounds like you're dating one of our grandmothers. <laughs> hey, 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 it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Come on. Come on. I'm not going to be around, you know, your whole life to protect it from maniacs like on in here. <laughs> yeah, I'll worry about it then. She hasn't been at school all week. I did call. How's it coming, Bertie? No, I haven't. I haven't seen her since Saturday. I don't know what's wrong with her. I just took another piece off an engine back there. I hooked yeah. it up to the carburetor. It runs pretty smooth Bye. now. Can you tell us about it? It's nothing, Dad. That sound like nothing to you? Ah, oh, sounds like you got a problem with some girl. There's no problem. Listen, let me let me tell you something about girls. Wait a second. This is from personal experience. Yes, of course it's from my personal experience. Don't listen to anything he says. Hey, I'll compare records with you any time. I had my share. Not while your mother was alive. I, I, I don't want you thinking that, but before. Listen, a girl rattles you. It shows up in your life. It shows up in your work. It shows up in your grades. It shows up in everything. Hey, you know about women. You tell him he listens to you. Tell him. Tell him! Uh, Farrell. The only problem with women... No, Harry, that's no is, good. Uh, the only problem is... They're great. Bernie, what are you talking, huh? Yeah, Harry. Hey, Bernie. When are you gonna let me work the big crane? I don't believe this. I mean, this kid, he's got colleges begging, he's got two sports scholarships easy, and, and he wants to work here. No, Harry, that's no good. I want it here by four. You gonna work with the weights later? Yeah, well, what do you sure. say I get another delivery? Did huh? 220 on the bench yesterday. What, huh? Well, you get yourself a lawyer, you chase me through the courts, or you have it here by four. What do you say, Harry? Your choice. Good, I'll see you at four. You believe this guy? Huh? He's gonna take a woman shopping at four in the afternoon. It's like I said, you think about women at night, you forget about them the rest of the day. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
Page 73, Act 3, Scene 5. Hang thee, young baggage, disobedient wretch. I tell thee what, get thee to a church of Thursday or never after look me in the face. <laughs> That's pretty strong language from a father to his daughter. <laughs> and why? Because she wouldn't marry the man of his choice. Shakespeare's audience would have completely identified with Juliet's father's words. Comments? Gary? Um, parents don't always give you a lot of choice. They tell you what to do, no questions asked. It's, uh, it's not so different today. <laughs> Catherine, any thoughts? Gary's right. Do you want to explore that further? Gary's always right. <laughs> Sam? Did you manage to keep up while you were out? Uh, I, I know the play. We studied it last year. So what do you think? Why is it Shakespeare's audience would never blink at Juliet's father's words? Juliet's parents treated her like property. Something they could trade for something else they wanted. Women were property. If Juliet wasn't a virgin, she was worth less. They could do whatever they wanted with her. So you agree with Gary? I'm Samantha Mason. I... Um... I was raped. I thought that if I could just go on with things, that if I could act like it never happened, then maybe I could forget. The way he treated me, the way he made me feel so, so violated. Nothing I said mattered. It was like I didn't matter. He, Sam, you went somewhere with somebody you trusted. You know what that makes you guilty of? Nothing. You're guilty of going out on a date. But I liked him. Maybe he thought. Did you say no to him? Yes. And then he forced himself on you. Yes. Then he raped you. You should have a medical exam for pregnancy or sexually transmitted diseases. And even. I didn't even think about that. Most women don't. If I report it, the police will investigate, and if they think you have a good enough case, you can take him to court. But then everyone will know. They'll say 
They'll say that it was my fault. Yeah. Some people will. But the ones who count, the ones who care about you, they won't. And if I say nothing? Look, you have a choice. But what you have to realize is that silence is permission. It's permission for him to do what he did to you, and it's permission for him to do it again to somebody else. Hey, yo! Everett, what a surprise! What are you doing, collecting for the lodge? What the cops give you the day off? How you doing? Sorry, Joe. What is it? It's all there. Hey, Eric, what is it? You just tell me. It's about Gary. He's under investigation. What are you telling me? There's been a complaint against him. He's got to come down to the station tomorrow for an interview. You should bring a lawyer. Hey, well, Eric, you're not making any sense. Not making any sense to me either, Joe. He's being charged with sexual assault. Great. You want to tell me what this is? Tell you what what is? Read it. What is this? You tell me. Dad, what's going on? Some intimation, you know her? Yeah. Did you rape her? What? That was the police. This girl said you raped her. Did you? No! I'm gonna ask you. I want you to answer me straight. Did you have sex with her? I got things I gotta do. Sex when I was your age. What did you do? Were you rough with it? Did you hit her? No, I didn't hurt her. What do you think I am? I am trying to make sense out of this. Dad, I've been dating her. We've gone out a few times. I mean, we argued about sex. I wanted to, and she... She said no, but most girls say no at first. We argued about it. It was no big deal. Gary, this is a serious charge. You understand? I'll call Maria. Maybe she can handle a case like this, huh? <laughs> 